gonna marinate uh, the shrimp with some lemon juice, uh, a teaspoonful of garlic pepper, and a teaspoonful of uh, sea salt. Seal this and I'm gonna uh, start in the fridge for about 30 minutes. So we all down, I'm gonna set it in the fridge for about 30 minutes. Hello everybody, uh, this is the stew shot. <clears throat> I'm gonna uh, make a recipe I created and I'm gonna call it a mushroom shrimp uh, stew or sauce. Uh, this is for my friends who couldn't wait for me to put up uh, a, a stew video. Uh, you know, stew is my area of expertise, <clears throat> hence, you know, my name. It actually can tell from my name. I can really create fantastic stews, but, you know, you're going to see that in the course of uh, watching this channel. Um, but this is for you, all my friends, uh, you know, who are impatient for me to post a stew recipe. Uh, this is one I haven't made before. I just created it yesterday, uh, so I'm going to go make it. I'm actually about to make it, uh, so enjoy, stay tuned. Uh, relax and have fun watching. Uh, see you in a few minutes. Ciao, ciao. All right, guys. There you go. Olive oil. Almost out. One tablespoonful. One, two. I already have one uh, tablespoonful in there already, so that makes it four tablespoonful olive oil. In the meantime, I have a uh, an empty pan here. I have an empty pan here. I'm gonna warm up some herbs, and we're gonna grind it after that. So I'm gonna let the olive oil warm, and uh, in the meantime, I have juniper berries. I'm gonna take five of it, five juniper berries. Five. I'm gonna warm it up in this little pot here. It goes in there, five juniper berries. I'm gonna put five cloves in there, five cloves. Cloves, five of them. Five. Cloves in, two bay leaves. Two bay leaves. And then a teaspoonful, uh, a teaspoonful tarragon. I love tarragon. Oh man! All right. There you go. A generous amount. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna let that cook. Warm my pepper and cook for a few minutes. I can smell it, it's amazing. Olive oil is warm and I'm gonna put the, uh, add shallots to the olive oil, shallots in. I'm gonna let this saute for a few minutes. I want it to cook but not brown, so I keep an eye on that. I want it to cook but not brown. I think this is warm enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and grind it. I have a little mini grinder here. I'm gonna grind it in. I'm gonna grind and I'll be right back. Stir this intermittently. I'm gonna add ginger and garlic. This is garlic. That is ginger, uh, minced ginger, minced garlic. Garlic in. Stir. 
onion is pretty much uh, cooked. I mean the shallots, not onion. Shallots are pretty much cooked. Ginger in. And then stir. So it's uniform. I'm gonna let it cook for maybe one minute. This is what it looks like, rounded. I like it, it's fine. I have a little bit of chunks of uh, bay leaves in there, but that's okay. So now I'm gonna add the mushrooms. I'm gonna stir. Mushrooms in. And then I'm gonna add about half the content of this in there, of the herbs. So just a half, half the content, that's good enough. I'm gonna let this cook for about three to five minutes. About three to five minutes. Make sure you stir, you know, Often, so it doesn't it doesn't burn. Okay. The shrimp. I'm gonna add the shrimp now. There. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to add the remainder of the herbs. And I'm going to mix. I'm going to rinse it. I'm going to rinse this with stock, a little bit of stock. and then pour it in there. So that's the, I'm rinsing the, the, the residual herbs, you know, with the little stock, I'm gonna add it in. I added it, I'm gonna let this cook for about one or two minutes. While it's cooking, I'm gonna add some zest to it. There's a little bit of lemon zest in there. It's there. Let this cook for a minute or two. It's already a minute. So one more minute is good. Okay, still a, it's a, it's about two minutes now. I'm gonna add minced serrano pepper. Okay. I'm gonna stir. And this is a uh, minced a. Uh, uh, green bell pepper. So I'm gonna add that too, and then stir till uniform. I'm gonna let this cook for about a minute. It's about a minute. I, uh, this is the, this is grated a uh, grated uh, cherry medley. I'm gonna add that. 
I'm gonna step to the other form. I'm gonna cook this for maybe uh, about six, uh, six to eight minutes. We just do six minutes. I'm gonna do it for about six minutes. I'm gonna add a little chicken stock to it and cook it for about six minutes. Okay. There you go. Cover it with lead and cook it for about six six to eight minutes all right it's uh, six minutes now this is what this is what it looks like six minutes so now i'm going to go ahead and i uh, make sure the shrimp is really cooked i'm gonna Gonna go ahead and add some spices now. We're gonna do half teaspoonful garlic, half teaspoonful garlic and ginger powder, half teaspoonful, half teaspoonful chili powder. If you like spicy food, add more. I mean, my friend here doesn't can't handle spicy food, so that's why I'm doing half half of this. Okay, and I'm gonna do a uh, one teaspoonful uh, fennel powder. I mean, yeah, one teaspoonful fennel powder. And I'm gonna mix it. Let it cook for about a minute or less. Just wanna mix it so it's homogenous. Okay. All right, that's good. Now we're just gonna, just gonna garnish it with uh, the basil, you know, minced basil. And the uh, yellow bell pepper, you know, chopped to that size, pretty much half in chops. So we're going to let this cook for a minute and that's it. Just a minute. All right, folks, that's it. It's done. That is your shrimp and mushroom sauce or stew. Uh, we're going to eat it with some rice in a second. I hope you enjoy the video. You got to try this out. It's really easy to make. Can make it within 10 minutes or you know almost 15 minutes. Alright, take care.